It's been hard to get out on good weather to go bottom fishing. We are still crabbing and the best ocean days have been going towards that. It's been really stormy this spring. By the time the weather calms down, we have to go run our crab gear. The days we have been able to go, the bite has been off. When southerly storms come in, the bite turns off. Some days you can't do anything wrong, other days you can't do anything right. When they aren't biting, there isn't much you can do about it. Keep grinding. Today the universe gave us an opportunity to catch a good bite. I've been on a tiger stripe swim bait kick and I have made some awesome swim baits I am excited to test out. Look at the action on these swim baits. Awesome. I even made an 8 ounce tiger stripe wolf eel to get us down fast. We decided to go deep. The current is good. We headed out to an area that is really snaggy. If the current is ripping or the wind is pushing you fast or both, it's not worth fishing unless you want to donate all of your tackle to the bottom of the ocean. I've always wanted to see what it's like down there. Today, I will risk losing this GoPro so I can see what it's like down there. Water clarity is good out here. Look at all those jagged rocks with all of the places for monster fish to hide and all those places to get snagged in and lose this GoPro. The scenery is amazing. So is the action. I will shut up now. Smash that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. I've had to drop down and check the bottom a couple of times. Now my gear is starting to get behind the boat. It's risky to drop down when your gear is behind you. You will get caught behind a rock, significantly increasing the chances of a break off happening. I'm gonna reel up and recast. This lingcod has probably been stalking my lures. It decides it cannot let them get away. This crazy fish keeps attacking it until it hooks. Lingcod are so aggressive making them really fun to catch. I have so many awesome memories catching lingcod. I used to think that ling cod were big, dumb, aggressive fish. Since I've been filming what happens down there, I've learned they are actually pretty smart. I've gained a new respect for them. We have a lot in common. Some days I'm dumb and aggressive, other days I'm smart and sly, just like the ling cod.
The swim baits are awesome. This fish will go to market. We have a federal observer on board. She is collecting data for NOAA. The data is used to manage our fishery. Oregon does a good job at keeping our fisheries sustainable. Oregon has some epic fishing.